Hello friends, viewers and subscribers, it's another bright and sunny day and I hope that you are all having a great week. To all our subscribers, thank you for your support and for those viewers who just happened to click the thumbnail. Thank you for dropping by. Sa ating pong mga kababayang mga Pilipino, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. At sa lahat ng ating mga subscribers, marami pong salamat sa patuloy niyong pagsuporta ng ating channel. Well, there is no doubt that shooting is a great hobby. We often have that desire to be more effective and optimize our shooting skills or trying to be better to have the advantage and be ready not just in uh, threatening situations but in competition shooting as well. If you are into firearms, having a red dot sight on your pistol or rifle can be useful because it will make your aiming more convenient and efficient. In today's video, Babulakai Armory, we have another red dot that we recently picked up from our favorite outdoor shopping center. We are going to unbox the Shadowfly Red Dot Sight by Cabela's. Give me a few minutes while I head to the table and see what we have in the box. Well, hello everyone, we are back on the table again to unbox another red dot that we recently ordered from the internet market. And before we go further, I would like to say that this video is for unboxing the Shadowfire Red Dot by Cabela's. I am not affiliated or selling any products that you see in this video, and this video does not contain any information of how to mount this red dot onto your forearm, or any instructions of how to modify your firearm. I'm saying this because YouTube has been deleting other YouTubers uh, lately. Well, because they are uh, in violations of uh, the policy. Now, I was surfing the internet and uh, bumped into this red dot. I tried to search for what other consumers opinion about this product, but I don't see too many video posted about it. Cabela's is a very well known outdoor store in the US. And in my understanding, Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops merged as one company years back. And if you've been to these uh, stores, they are huge. And they even have aquariums and wildlife displays. And the store carry all kinds of uh, outdoor gear and equipment to include firearm, ammunition, and accessories. <clears throat> well, since Cabela's is very well known across the U.S., I decided to pick this one and give it a try. What's gonna happen now is uh, let us open the box and see what we have inside. Yeah. Nice, well, there you go. As you can see right after we pull it out from the box, the uh, red dot is packed and nicely fitted into a plastic packaging to protect the site. Here we have the Shadowfire Red Dot itself. It looks like it is very well made and it has a little weight into it. A little heavy. Let me put this on the side and check it out in a bit. Well, it also comes with a CR2032 battery. And what else do we have? We also have a lens cleaning cloth and also in the box, right here it contains the uh, quick start guide read the quick start guide folks i know that a lot of us doesn't like reading but uh, uh just read it to familiarize yourself with the product most of the time it contains uh good information and troubleshooting informations and safety guidelines which is significant just in case you hit a problem and that is it, folks. That is all we have in the box. This is it. It's not too much. Well, let us uh, pick up the uh, red dot and take a closer look. <clears throat> the first thing I notice when I pick this red dot is the heaviness and the uh, material used to build this product. The body is made of aluminum alloy and 
um, you know, it includes a uh, Picatinny and Weaver compatible mount right here. Looks good. Well, right on the top is the uh, battery compartment right here. You gotta do is right here. This is the battery compartment. And uh, just below that is the uh, brightness adjustment setting over here. Um, this red dot has uh, 11 brightness intensity levels. And be also behind the battery and brightness adjustment settings is the elevation adjustment. And on the side of that is the windage adjustment dial. As you can see, the windage and elevation adjustment uh, is, are protected with a screw-on cap uh, to uh, keep it away from uh, object that will potentially damage the uh, adjustment dials. Cabela's claim that this red dot can withstand a uh, recoil up to 800 G's. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that it can withstand recoil from handguns to rifles. The lens, the lens have a proprietary multi-coating to provide the true image color and clarity. Pretty cool. Well, this red dot also is waterproof, but I am not certain if it can be submerged into water. It is also fog-proof and shock resistant. Well, let's uh, check the specifications real quick. This red dot has a magnification of 1x and the uh, objective lens diameter is 21 millimeter. The red dot is 3 MOA and the eye relief is uh, unlimited. The turret click value is uh, 1 MOA and the elevation adjustment range is about 80 MOA which is 40 up and also 40 down. The windage adjustment is also 80 MOA, 40 right, and also 40 left. The uh, parallax setting is about 50 yards. The uh, mounting height is about uh, 1.4 inches, and the total length of this red dot is 2.6 inches. And the total weight is about 8.6 ounces. Well, this is powered by one CR2032 battery and according to Cabela's, the battery life when it is set to its highest level is around 200 hours and about 50,000 hours when it is set to its uh, lowest intensity level. I don't believe that this red dot has an automatic shutoff. So, uh, don't forget to turn it off once you are finished using it. Otherwise, next time you're gonna use it, you'll be wondering why it won't turn on because you ran out of batteries. Well, let me install the battery and turn it on so you will get an idea of what a 3MOA red dot looks like inside the lens. Let's take out the battery protected cap right here. Put the battery on. There you go. Let's put it back right there. Nice. Well, we are at zero right now, so let me turn it on to one. Oh, I don't think I can eat. I, I can't even see it. It's so small. Well, let me put it on to at least, uh, let's say six, maybe. Hey, you will be able to start uh, uh, seeing it until you get into a uh, level six uh, Can you guys see it? Hope you can All right, let me put it on Eight Woo, Look at that. I can see it now. Can you guys see it? There you go, right? There you go There's a red dot right there Nice Look at that. You guys see it? Oh, there you go right here Well, let me put it to Intensity level 11. Oh, look at that. Once you put, once you put the brightness setting into uh, intensity 11, it is super duper bright, guys. Uh, right here. You guys see it right there? 
Oh, it's super duper bright. It looks like the size of a 6 MOA. Nice. Cool. Well, let's put it back to 8, maybe. Hopefully you guys can see it. You guys see it? There you go. Let me see. There. That is uh, intensity uh, uh, level 8 right there. Hope you see the red dot. Nice. Well, what's going to happen is I will be mounting this red dot onto my pistol caliber carving and test its performance. So stand by for that video. This uh, red dot appeared to be very well constructed and not too bad at all. If you want a red dot for your rifle and don't want to uh, spend that much money, you might want to check this red dot. It may be a good choice for your budget. Let me put it again to intensity 10 or 11 so you would see what it looks like right there. Ooh, look at that. It's nice. It's so bright. Anyways, all right, everyone. This is it for me. Thank you for watching. And once again, this is your friend, Apolakai Armory, or saying, no and follow all the weapons and range safety rules. And let's keep hitting the X ring. Simper Fi, mabuhay po kayong lahat. Until next time. Look at that. Nice. I like it. <laughs>